Hi, this is Jill Florent. I'm with the QuickSight Customer Success Team. And for the next few minutes, we're gonna go through some ways to think about learning paths with QuickSight. So first of all, just to kind of cover the basics, Amazon QuickSight is a scalable, serverless, embeddable, and machine learning powered business intelligence service for the cloud. We specialize in being able to do interactive visualizations from all kinds of data sources, and it's scalable to tens and hundreds of thousands of users, beginning from just one user, with a serverless architecture that automatically scales and deep machine learning driven insights that are easy to access. Uh, QuickSight is embeddable in all kinds of applications, whether user-based or anonymous embedding, and it allows you to quickly and easily move from data to metrics to insights and actions in just seconds. There are three user types in QuickSight. We have readers who consume interactive dashboards created by other users. Those authors who create the interactive dashboards are called authors, and they can connect to data, create visuals, do ad hoc analysis of data, and publish dashboards that can then be shared with readers. And you can also embed the dashboards created by authors. Um, in other applications. And admins are the users who manage QuickSight access and preferences and manage spice capacity and all the authoring capabilities are also available to admins. So these are the three types of users and there are different learning paths for each one of these user types. So let's start with the most basic. Uh, to learn about the reader learning path, we have two resources. There's kind of a two minute quick uh, fly through QuickSight that introduces you to uh, what it is for people just getting started. There is a 20 minute video that is available that is a YouTube video that allows you to see all the different kinds of things you can do with your QuickSight dashboard, including drill downs and accessing custom language narratives and setting threshold based alerts. And it's a great way to learn um, how to interact with dashboards that have been created by another user. The author learning path is probably one of the most important learning paths because it is the way that people who are uh, experts at creating data visualizations can learn how to build all kinds of different dashboards for others. In many cases, folks are familiar with other tools that they might have used in the past and uh, while QuickSight is intuitively easy to learn, it's important, I think, that you just understand what resources can be most effective in learning how to get the most out of the authoring experience. So I'm gonna give just a few minutes of overview here. I will say that similar to getting started as a reader, we have a YouTube video that covers all the different kinds of interactions you can create as an author that's available for free over YouTube. I do think that that 30 minute intro is a great starting point. Uh, we do also have a one hour uh, overview that is a uh, video that starts out with a very short interactive experience of a pretty cute little um, puppy shelter uh, dashboard where we see uh, images of the puppies that are available for uh, access and we see the different kinds of visuals that can be created to track who's in the shelter and you know what is their status and so we start with this very short overview of what a reader dashboard looks like and then we learn how to build it uh, so this is a great first one hour uh, opportunity to dive deep into the author experience i also think if you look down this path here it's a great thing to do to explore the art of the possible. So we have something called Demo Central that is a great way to look at dashboards that have been created by other users. This kind of gives you an overview of how to navigate your way through Demo Central. But after you've maybe taken a look at that uh, initial dashboard, uh, uh, creating your first dashboard video, this would be a great place to explore. You can interact as a reader with the kinds of visuals that you see here and uh, you'll see very different kinds of use cases represented. So these are all interactive dashboards, great ways to display and, and show data that can be drilled down into. Uh, some things that you might not have expected QuickSight could do are visualized here 
with uh, the latest in maps and interacting with these items. Um, we also allow you to do uh, fixed overlays so you can put things almost anywhere on the screen and so there's some really great examples here. I would highlight that our solutions architects are constantly adding to Demo Central and um, adding things like tips and tricks for getting the most out of the uh, recent features that have been uh, created by the team. There's a lot of things uh, that are demoed here that have just been released, feature demos such as direct query or freeform uh, layouts or a lot of information about calculations that can be really helpful. And then we have a machine learning uh, natural language query uh, capability called Q. So if you look through here, you can see all different kinds of use cases that are able to leverage QuickSight Q. So just exploring your way through there is probably another good idea after you've got kind of the first basics down. I will call out that uh, there's a two hour building advanced analytics and dashboards workshop that is probably the most popular uh, learning opportunity that we've had. What this does is it actually takes a given data set and by going through approximately 15 different exercises in a workshop format, you're able to really see where things are located and um, things that you probably didn't know QuickSight could do, but invariably people are telling us that, you know, after that, that first chunk where you download a given data set and then you connect to that data and you our step through uh, having kind of a visual overview of all the different steps. Uh, these exercises really do help you to understand not only what's possible with QuickSight, but within just a few minutes, you're literally able to go through, uh, create a visual, for instance, you know, a line chart that uh, allows you to see sales month over month. Um, adding a forecast to a line chart is about the third or fourth thing that you do. By the time that you get to exercises five with visualizing sales year over year or uh, exercise six, doing machine learning, which is constantly running in the background with QuickSight and how easy it is to just click a little plus button and add those machine learning suggestions to your visuals, you're kind of off to the races. When you're done with all of these different examples, which do get fairly complex, I would say most people tell us, wow, now I feel really comfortable finding things in QuickSight, knowing how to connect to data, knowing how the navigation works. And so with that first two hour chunk as an author, you'll notice here on the left side of your screen that we go through and have uh, enhancing your dashboard, being, you know, adding interactivity, different kinds of data sets and calculations, and you can get really advanced in terms of those workshops. In totality, the author workshops that we offer, while that first chunk is really the two hours, that kind of gets you over the hump and now you know where to get around things. But for people who are going to be doing kind of full-time business analyst, data analyst, or BIE roles, you probably want to go through all of the author workshops. Uh, as you can see, they're available through the link here online. We post links to those in our community, which we'll go through in just a moment. And um, when you have completed all of those things, I guess the next step would be doing the workshop on how to get the most out of QuickSight Q, the, NL, the natural language query capability. And then we even have a, a super advanced author workshop that goes through things like uh, very advanced calculations. And so we do have this presentation, all the links on our QuickSight community. And so that is a great way to get started as an author. If you're a developer and you want to be able to build those kind of authoring experiences into another application, you can either do a two hour workshop on anonymous embedding where you don't have to have specific users or authenticated users. So those are two different workshops that are also available from our community. Again, about a two hour chunk of time. All of these are available for free but uh, some people still do prefer having a uh, subject matter expert uh, facilitated learning experience and those are available through AWS training and certification as well, both online or in a um, in-person version. In order to get started as an administrator on QuickSight, we do have workshops as well. Um, 
we have set up many functions so that they're built for scale. And so learning the command line interface and the application programming interfaces, APIs, is a really important function. So there's a set of workshops available here. I would recommend that if you're going to be building for scale, you're going to want to go through as well building a centralized admin console. We have both a video overview of these with hands-on activities as well as a blog post that goes through and really elaborates on how using a single pane of glass you can get the most out of um, a certain setup of data sources that allow you to uh, administer QuickSight kind of as a super admin and, and having that, that kind of console set up. So this has been very, very helpful to a number of our large scale customers. A couple other admin topics, uh, not quite as extensive, but helpful to have uh, kind of step-by-step -step access, uh, single sign-on and setting up your users so they get one-click access to QuickSight applications through their existing credentials is very helpful. We also have instructions on how to port content from, say, uh, one region to another or from one account to another, especially if you're going from like a test environment to a production environment. So these things are linked to here and available within the QuickSight community. And then finally, the um, CloudFormation support was just added recently, and so all of these are just shorter links available within the admin learning path. I've mentioned the community a couple of times, so I did want to just uh, share with you that from a learning standpoint, uh, having the QuickSight community as a companion to QuickSight as a tool is probably a really good way for you to think about uh, connecting with the people, the process, and the practices around QuickSight. So this was recently relaunched here in 2022. You can see we're gearing up for the big AWS reInvent conference. We've just had our partners complete their first visualization challenge and the winners and the links to those things are here. But the community is really designed to help you connect with other users to get answers to questions. So there's a searchable database if you put, you know, even getting started up here, it would take you to some of the information that we've just been reviewing about the workshops and getting going. Uh, if you had a question, let's say you might be looking for uh, information about donut charts, uh, not just because I'm hungry, but because donut charts are, um, you know, getting more and more pop popular. So, um, being able to have say dynamic titles in combination with donut charts. This is a good example of a question that was posted and um, not only a specific link to the documentation, but also a video that shows you exactly how to do that. So all sorts of questions are being uh, searched for. If you uh, have a login to the community, you can actually pose your own questions if you can't find an answer right away but we're constantly doing um, events and all the links to the learning resources are here and anything that is newly announced in QuickSight would be advertised here. So it's a great place to just bookmark and make, a, make your own account so you can ask questions and then know that we have links to all of our documentation, workshops, the Demo Central site and QuickSight itself from here. So hopefully that gives you a nice overview of all the different ways to get started with QuickSight. Our partners are experts at QuickSight. Uh, they're frequently doing Ask the Experts workshops and events in the, the community as well. But here would be several of the links that you'd want to probably uh, bookmark. So our documentation, the community itself, Demo Central, the workshops, the big data blog where we have all kinds of customer examples and reference architectures written about, and then the YouTube channel where we post all of our videos. So with that, um, have fun learning about QuickSight, and if you have any questions, our sales team would be happy to uh, hear from you and get you more answers. Have a great day.